Welcome back to T's Multiverse. I'm your host, Tyrus, and today we're going to talk Castlevania Season 4. I'm going to give my thoughts on this series. Um, This series, man, this was a very complex, compelling, just, you know, very video game centric uh, with absolutely mind blowing um, action sequences, really. I did not care for Season 3. I kind of checked out of Season 3. Um, it lost me. It felt like it, there were like too many lulls and I just really couldn't follow what they were trying to do. And, um, there were some, there were some areas throughout, you know, at times you, you trying to understand individuals motivation, even with, um, Isaac's motivation. Um, I really could not get a real understanding as to what he was wanting to do and why he was doing what he was doing. Um, let me know in the comments if, if you had that issue with any of the characters. Um, there was one guy who was ultimately, he wind up wanting to Germain. I was still trying to understand his character and his motivations, but he wind up being to where he ultimately wanted to help the vampires, uh, aid, aid the vampires in resurrecting Dracula. Um, and if you're not familiar with this series, um, season uh, two, I believe, uh, Trevor Belmont, who is this, uh, who's known as this monster hunter, um, and, uh, Cypher, who is like this, um, super, super awesome, um, magician, mystical magic. She's pretty much like a, uh, let's say she's a cross between, in a way, like Doctor Strange and Mira. From the DC comics. I mean her powers are pretty awesome. For some reason I kept feeling like Cypher would get killed off. And I'm glad that she didn't. Because she was just am- she was a, an amazing character. And her powers were absolutely just astonishing. Um, and her action sequence were just like top notch. So I'm really glad that that didn't happen. And you have Alucard. Who is Dracula's son. Who is absolutely amazing. Man his. This, this series was so much fun to watch it was so fun to watch and it really played out like a video game and i didn't i didn't get the that feeling in the other series but this one here was really fun to watch now it was gory folks i'm gonna tell you right now if you do watch this thing it is a bit gory um and i really didn't care for the loss of life of you know innocent individuals the way they were just able to kill off some innocent people in this this series, but for the most part, I mean, this was a very um, dramatic, yet like I said, gory series, but absolutely phenomenal writing. You can tell the attention to the writing that was put into this series. This story really, you know, centers around the big three, which is Trevor Belmont, Alucard, and Cipher, and um, to see their relationship build from episode one to where it is and it, i mean episode not episode but season one and now season four was a really great journey and i think everyone got their the ending that they deserved and um i will say this man episode six was like one of the best episodes i'll say episode six and nine you're treated to some of the greatest battle sequences ever i'm gonna start with episode six where isaac and his army of creatures that he's created are basically infiltrating Carmilla, who is now the queen of the vampires, uh, who she's um, apparently, I guess she's taken over for Dracula since he's gone. Uh, episode season two, Trevor Belmont, Alucard, and Cypher kill Dracula. Uh, not, it wasn't easy. It was one, one hell of a fight, but they wind up besting Dracula at the end. And, um, the theme throughout this season four is basically like you have a host of individuals who are seeking to resurrect Dracula. Um, and, you know, you have the big three who are trying and prevent that. And but, uh, you know, you have Isaac who basically I guess he wants to take out Camilla and her her host of uh, her vampire squad. And the two go at it. And that the, the battle, the battle between those two. I wouldn't say those two because Isaac cheated. He had to have like so many, so much help in trying to take down Carmilla. She put up one, you talking about a one person army? That lady was no joke. And 
she took out so many people and there were so many just just awesome action sequences between the two you know uh isaac his skill set in terms of his, his fighting ability was is just top notch but carmilla's it was just absolutely off the charts i don't want to spoil how it ends how that turns out but let's just say like i said there was one one heck of a battle sequence between those two and it, and it just really set the tone for the rest for the remaining episodes because there's only 10 episodes in this series so you know you have that and then you have ultimately um episode nine which just goes down for me as like one of the greatest action sequences also um it tops honestly it wind up topping six and um you find that in this episode um you know, you had Trevor Belmont and Cypher on another on their own journey. So I guess at some point in the series, they separated from Alucard, and so they've been they've been apart this whole season. And then ultimately, when they get back together, they go through this magical mirror and are transported to where Alucard is. He's facing off against a horde of monsters, and the two when they get together, it's like you you know if you play video games when your character is low on energy or they need this boost and they wind up getting this this super boost when the three get together it's like all of them get this super boost of energy and just renewed skill set towards everything and they just i mean they just go at it man and they just it's it's so much fun to watch and you could tell like this episode was pretty much a just just a just a love letter to the fans and just giving fans what they really what they wanted to see out of each one of these characters because they they work they fight in such harmony and they fight with so in, in unison the three and they work so well together and you know you can see how Alucard is happy to see them but he's trying to hide it with his comments and how the three have this bond that has been created throughout the seasons. And when they get together, they're stronger than ever. It's just beautiful to see, man. I love that scene. That there has to be the greatest sequences. And it was like I thought that was it. I was like, okay, this is it. This is like the greatest battle sequences I've ever seen in my life. This is this is it. And um, then ultimately, they um, supposedly stops the resurrection of Drac. We're getting to the part that just blows absolutely just blows me away. It involves Belmont facing off death himself uh death reveals himself in this series and uh trevor is separated from alucard and cypher uh pretty much the, the ground beneath them is just crumbling and they're on one side and he's on the other with death and he's facing down death and it's just um i love this sequence because it really um i feel it's a metaphor for our life how you have to face down your fears and face down your obstacles with strength, faith, no let down mindset, no matter the consequences, no matter how dire it set it seemed, it felt like he said, you know what, I'm going to face this fear. I'm going to face you down and I'm going to win. Just beckons back to what we all in our lives deal with. We deal with obstacles. We deal with trials and tribulations. And at some point we have to stand up and say, you know what, I'm going to fight. You know, I'm going to fight and I'm going to win. Um, and I just love the scenes, um, the music that played. It added to the dramatic elements and, and the, the moments within this scenes. It just turned out to be like the greatest action sequence for me. Um, it, it just it connected with the battle with the three um, from pre previously and then this one here just topped it off the dramatic feelings that come over you when you're watching him face this immovable obstacle and he faced it down it was just something to see and then just like i said the sequences were just mind-blowing he takes out death <laughs> apparently uh, they make it as if trevor dies while doing this episode 10 um the final episode is a bit of a Kind of like a tipping of the hat of, of goodbye um, to the fans of this series and just kind of wrapping everything up. Um, what was um, the the townsmen and everyone is pretty much rebuilding and they're honestly and they're ultimately are going to set up camp around Dracula's castle, which was interesting. 
So a place that was known for all this death and darkness and destruction is going to be a place where people will build for a better future for their townsmen. So it's going to represent the light and hope, um, which was interesting. And, you know, it seems like Alucard throughout the series found someone that he would fall in love with. And then you had um, Cypher, who's ultimately, um, you know, she reveals that she's pregnant from Trevor Belmont. And then, um, lo and behold, you have this figure coming towards the castle on horseback, and it's Trevor Belmont who was saved. Upon delivering the final blow to death, Trevor is safely transported to another location where he ultimately reunites with his comrades, which is cool, because I did not want him to die. Um, that was a bit of a kind of like, oh man, but you could see why um, they would possibly go that way route, but I'm glad that they didn't. This was a very interesting series. I really enjoyed it. It ends with they thought that they they kept Dracula and his wife from being from resurrecting, but it shows at the end that Dracula and his wife are alive and they were brought back. But he's not looking to cause any harm to individuals or go on this rampage of terror. It seems like him and his wife are just gonna live in peace, and um, that's it. You know, everybody seemed to have their happy ending in the end. Um, it seems like Isaac, who I really didn't understand his motivations, he found that, you know, once he took out Carmilla's army, he was, he figured, you know what, he's done with all this and he's going to move on with his life. Then you have Hector, who is a forge master. He previously served under Dracula, but with Dracula being gone, you know, Carmilla is taking over and it's pretty much, you know, she's holding him captive and it's forcing him to work for her. And with that, there is Lenore who serves as a diplomat member on Camilla's Council of Sisters. And then ultimately, there's just this relationship and, and dynamic between he and Lenore, which ultimately there is a bookend to their story as well. As a whole, this was an awesome series. You know, there's some areas where I really didn't understand. I really couldn't follow. I really didn't just kind of lost me. But um, season four definitely was the best. Um, there was really no lulls in this series. It was like action sequence after action sequence after. And when you try to catch your breath, it was like, okay, now there's more. And that was cool. You know, that was pretty cool. Um, like I said, they, they really wanted to go all out in this season and they did. And, um, very entertaining. I, I enjoyed every episode. And so I definitely recommend it. If you don't mind the gore and, you know, um, a lot of action, a lot of storytelling, so definitely check it out. I definitely recommend um, Castlevania Season 4. Definitely recommend just check out the whole series. Um, it is available on Netflix. So definitely check it out. There is a spinoff in the works that was announced. So that is coming. I won't I won't spoil what that will involve. But there is a spinoff in the works for um, this Castlevania series. So um, thank you so much for checking me out today and tuning in. I appreciate all your support. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe, comment below. Let me know. Um, give me your thoughts on what you feel about this Castlevania series and as well as this season four. Um, did you enjoy it? Have you seen it yet? Are you looking to watch this? Let me know in the comments. All right. Um, until next time, be good to one another. Be safe and stay tuned. Bye for now.